Shortly after my match with Kane, I found out I needed surgery. Years of physical matches had finally caught up to me. As much as I had fought against it, I was forced to give up my WWE title that I fought so hard to win. When will I come back? I have no idea. But I think all of you know the answer to this question. Will I come back? Yes! 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 To make things worse, what was supposed to be a six to eight week recovery eventually turned into eight months of physical rehab and training to regain strength. Finally, I returned to WWE in late 2014 and went on to win the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. With over 70,000 people chanting yes, what an emotional moment for Daniel Bryan. It appeared I was getting my career back on track until a few weeks later when I suffered another injury. Almost a year after I had to relinquish the WWE title, I was now back in the same position, this time handing over the Intercontinental title. The Intercontinental Championship deserves to be in this ring, and in this ring is where I am going to leave it. I thought this was just another setback in my WWE journey that I'd have to overcome, but it turned out to be much more serious than that. As I went through the process of trying to get cleared by various doctors, I decided that it was time to take a step back and face an unfortunate reality. My in-ring career was over. On February 8th, 2016, in my home state of Washington, I said goodbye to everything I worked for and dreamed of. It is with a heavy heart and the utmost <sighs> sadness that I officially announced my retirement. I have loved this in a way that I have never loved anything else. And for that, I'm grateful. After my retirement, I had to step away from WWE for a while. I needed some space. Plus my wife, Bree and I were trying to start a family. But after some time went by and my emotional wounds had somewhat healed, I returned to WWE as the general manager of SmackDown Live. And this show, it's about the amazing superstars and giving them the opportunities that they deserve. I was having a blast as GM, but it wasn't quite the same. Whenever I see new guys that are really talented, I was like, ooh, imagine the match I could have with that guy. So with Bree's encouragement, I didn't give up fighting for my dreams. Having our daughter really made me feel like I needed to come back. I think it's a strong message to really say like, hey, there are some things that people are gonna tell you no, and you have to keep fighting for it if you really believe in yourself. So I think that's an important lesson to teach our baby. And selfishly also, I wanted Birdie to be able to see me wrestle. Look at all those people watching. Hi, can you say hi? He's a shy little bird. Mm. A little over two years after I said goodbye in Seattle, I got the amazing news that I was able to return. You need to fight for your dreams. And if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. Fortunately, I got quite the welcome back from a couple of old friends. Oh, Kevin, no! The general manager's fighting back against Owens and Zayn. I propose Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens face Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. It was pretty surreal that I made my WrestleMania return in the same building where four years earlier, I had the greatest night of my career. And in a lot of ways, this night meant even more. It goes without saying that Shane is fighting an uphill battle right now, but Shane McMahon doesn't care. you got to remember all the vitriol and contempt that Shane McMahon has had for months for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Well, Shane's understandably concerned about Daniel Bryan in his first match back in the ring, but Shane needs to be thinking about his own well-being. We touched on Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon's disdain for each other. It became so personal that the only match suitable was a Hell in a Cell. 
It was almost calculating how KO baited Shane into that position. Michael, I have no doubt that Kevin was expecting, even hoping, that Shane would try something insanely dangerous that night. And when Shane did, Kevin Owens had a guardian angel protecting him as he watched Shane crash from the very top of the cell. Shoulders down. And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. Too soon. Shane is really taking a beating. Does he stay in with his mounting injuries or risk bringing in the equally hurt Daniel Bryan? Well, this is no time to be a hero for Shane McMahon. Owens and Zayn are fighting for their jobs right now. Everyone's raving about Daniel Bryan's return tonight, but can we also take some time to celebrate that tonight is KO Mania 3? What's ironic is that Kevin Owens has named the showcase of the Immortals after himself since 2016. But after Bryan fired him, we thought Owens would miss WrestleMania. Wicked clothesline! He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. You guys brought up that KO Mania 3 almost didn't happen, but you neglected to mention that going for a ball by KO! Here's his moment, Michael. That's how you wear down your opponent. Here we go. Kevin Owens is setting it up. He's fighting back here. I expect nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The medical staff still dealing with Daniel Bryan after that cowardly attack from behind by Sammy and Kevin. You can form your own opinions on it, Cole. The fact of the matter is it was a brilliant sneak attack. Daniel Bryan was effectively removed from the equation before the bell could even ring. Not today. Wow, look at the quickness by Shane McMahon. Boom, what a close line. Reminding everyone that Daniel Bryan still remains at ringside, being tended to by our medical personnel after a blindsided attack by two men he once called friends. This is not the way Daniel Bryan wanted to return to action. This is supposed to be a feel-good story. It's supposed to be a homecoming for Daniel Bryan. Coming back to the same stadium, he became WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn seem to have taken that away from him. Harsh impact. Boom, what impact. Remember, Byron, if Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, if they win, they'll be rehired to SmackDown Live. That is not a comforting thought for Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon or the rest of the SmackDown Live roster for that matter. Nice. Shane looking to finish. Remember Byron, if Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, if they win, they'll be rehired to SmackDown Live. That is not a comforting thought for Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon. Or the you got to believe this one's over. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Momentum is fully in the corner of Shane McMahon now. That one, lightning quick. Harsh impact. Here it comes. He's got him. He'd be wise to stay right there. Even before the NG. That's the combination. Bam! Now it's time to capitalize. The situation just got real bad for Sami Zayn. Irish whip. Shane. Tonight is a culmination of pent-up emotions since SummerSlam. Daniel Bryan, Shane McMahon, 
Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have been at odds for months. Not only the two sides, but oh, is there nothing Shane McMahon can't do? Shane McMahon with the cover. Oh, and breaking oh. things up is Kevin Owens. Right across the injured abdomen. Owens and Zayn fighting for their livelihood. Fighting for their careers. There's a tag. Owens now legal. KO looking to go up to the top rope. This will be such poetic justice. Oh. Splash. Cover. On Shane. Breaking things up is Daniel Bryan. Desperation on both sides here. Well, that Daniel Bryan was out of here. He left on a stretcher. Well, he did, but he's now back. And Owens and Zayn are beside themselves. Owens and Zayn thought it was a full-gone conclusion. Oh, no. Went for the cannonball. Shane moved out of the way. Bryant's back up on the apron. Every square inch of that ring scouted to perfection. Sami Zayn tags in. Oh, and what a right hand. Fighting back, trying to make a tag. Come on, come on. Come on. behind, he's got it. Oh, 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 come on. Here. Daniel Daniel Bryan wants the tag. Oh, almost, but not quite. And Shane now, real separation. Could this be his moment? Oh. Shane absolutely oh. desperate. Needs to make this tag and needs to make it now. Can he get there? Can he make the tag to Dan O'Brien? If he does, this place will explode. Shane crawling with everything he's got, trying to inch himself closer to Dan O'Brien. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, yes. Here we go. And here. with a fury. A moment we never thought we'd see. Oh, 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 Hooked up, big suplex. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. The end is near for him. Beautiful technique. He's going for it all. He knows he's in trouble. He's close to being done here. Daniel Bryan on the top rope! Oh, the missile drop kick! Daniel Bryan came down hard. You gotta wonder if the injuries are oh, in the play. Bryan's just right. Uh-oh, from behind. Oh, Daniel Bryan, though. Oh. Rolls him off. And now what does Bryan do? Turns his attention back to the corner. Oh, the running drop kick. And the other one on the other side. And Daniel Bryan looks like the Daniel Bryan of old. Like he hasn't missed a step. Bryan controlling the entire tempo of this match by himself. This is incredible. What a moment. Whoa. That one, lightning quick. Double 
underhook suplex. He's looking at it. Vicious strike. You gotta believe this one's over. Zane is on a roll again. Suplex. Sami Zayn is feeling awfully good about himself, that's for sure. This is dangerous right here. Incoming. Really working over the body. Whoa, Zane dodged that one. Lightning quick. Whoa, Zayn dodged that one. Lightning quick. Irish whip. He might. Oh, a roller kick from Sammy Zayn. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Here's a cover. One. Not much behind that pin attempt. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Uh-oh. Shane McMahon likes to showboat, but he better not get carried away. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. When this guy's on, look out. Hooked up in the corner. Ooh, exploder in the corner. Warm up the bus. This one is over. The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Ooh, what impact. Oh, no. Here we go. Sami Zayn sees it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Impressive combination kicks. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Lock is in. The oh. yes lock is in. Unreal. This might be it. Oh my. Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? Look out. That can break bones, guys. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. What a stomp. Good grief. Got the leg. Oh! Dragon Whip connects. Harsh impact. Oh, his feet are on the ropes. His feet are on the ropes. I expected as much from him tonight. Beautiful technique. The leg, bang, and screw. That'll tear your knee up. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. We know what this means. Oh, 
What's it going to be? Damn. Momentum clearly in his corner. Oh, that's the impact. This one is over. Shane O'Mac is trying to establish who's boss out there. Oh, and the yes lock is cinched in. Is he going to oh, want a cross face? Just when you thought he had nothing left. What an incredible tag team contest. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. He's getting it done here. Oh, I can't believe this. He ain't playing here. And I always enjoy watching him before. Here are your winners, Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan will celebrate with his wife, Lee Bell, who inspired him to fight for your dreams. And if you can fight for your dreams, they'll fight for you. What a moment for Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. Welcome back, Daniel Bryan. There's the 77,000 chanting in unison. An absolutely unbelievable sight here at WrestleMania. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. What an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.